yes welcome to electrical machine lecture uh today's topic is uh, speed control and testing of dc motor so first we will take the speed control of dc motor so it is very much necessary to know what is the meaning of speed control and what is the difference between speed control and speed regulation so the speed control is the process of adjusting motor speed to meet specific operational demands is called as a speed control but unlike to the speed regulation it means that when we are deliberately controlling the speed of motor for some particular application some specific application then it is called as a speed control whereas the speed drop or speed regulation is the inherent characteristic of motor by virtue of which the speed drops by increasing the load or in any case the increase in load is there the speed is going to drop and that is called as a speed regulation and when we are controlling the speed of drop in speed then it is called as a speed regulation so in the previous uh, section we have discussed the speed uh, we have discussed the characteristic of dc motor we found that even for the dc shunt motor there is a slight drop in speed this is due to the armature resistance and armature reaction uh, armature resistance drop and armature uh, say brush drop is there so that drop and if you are controlling that drop of the speed is known as a speed regulation whereas to obtain the particular uh, speed for some specific operation is called as a speed control so as per this one the speed control may be the below normal value or may be the above normal value so first of all what is the normal value the normal value of speed uh, of motor is nothing but the speed which is specified on the name plate of motor say for example in the name plate of the motor there are some parameters are given like what is the output what is the hp of motor uh, what is the rated voltage what is the rated current and similarly the what is the rated speed of the motor so it is the normal speed of motor say for example it is specified as a 5 hp motor 220 volt uh speed is 1500 rpm so 1500 rpm is the rated speed whereas if for some application speed needed 1200 rpm or 1350 rpm so by bring by controlling the speed or to obtain the speed by some method is called as a speed control below normal value or below normal speed and whereas suppose the rated speed or the normal speed is given as a 1500 rpm and we want for some application it is 1600 rpm or 1670 rpm then the speed we are controlling above the rated value above the normal value then it is called as a speed control above normal value or above normal speed so this is the two parameters this is the two points to be remember for discussing the speed control of dc motor now there are two method one method is the armature control method where the speed control for the below normal speed or below normal value means for example the speed of the motor is 1500 rpm and we want 1400 rpm or 1315 rpm then we are going to use the then we have to use the armature control method whereas the field control method is use speed control above normal value so if the speed needed for the particular application is 1600 rpm or 1650 rpm which is greater than the normal value then the method uh, applicable method is field control method now first we will see the armature control method for armature control method we know that the speed is directly proportional to back emf and inversely proportional to field flux it is already discuss it is uh, say for example uh, back emf 
we will consider here back emf back emf eb so eb is equal to we know eb is equal to v minus i a r a let we uh, neglect the brush drop simple our calculation v is the rated voltage minus armature current into uh, armature resistance and we know that the back emf it is phi z and p upon 60a where a is the number of parallel path p is the number of pole it is also the value of back emf which is equal to v minus i a r a now we will take the value of speed speed is equal to now it is 60 a divided by z p into v minus i a r a divided by flux phi so here the speed n is equal to this is the sum constant 60 is the numerical value a is the number of parallel path once the motion motor is designed the number of parallel path will remain same z is the total number of conductor and p is the number of pole so this is the motor constant so we write as a k is some constant which is equal to this one and v minus i a r a and this is the flux phi so in short speed is equal to machine constant or motor machine motor constant it is a back emf so it is back emf back emf divided by flux so hence we can say that speed is directly proportional to back emf and inversely proportional to flux now for the dc shunt motor or series motor the flux is going to uh, be the proportional of the current which is going flow into the field winding so since the flux is directly proportional to the field current either it may be a series field current for the series motor and it may be a shunt field current for the dc shunt motor or the combination of both for the uh, compound motor therefore speed is directly proportional to v minus i a r a that is the back emf and inversely proportional to the field current so this is the basic idea the speed is directly proportional to this one so if you write speed speed is equal to some constant k back emf is voltage minus i a r a and here is the flux phi is the flux so for the there may be a two method one method which we are going to control the voltage across armature so v minus i a r a is nothing but the voltage across armature so this much part this much part we can say that voltage means this is total part okay voltage across across armature so it means that if it is possible to control the voltage across armature it is possible to change the speed but for the particular motor the rated voltage is will be there say for 200 or 220 volt is the rated voltage then we cannot increase the voltage supply voltage more than 220 so it means that by this method by armature control method it is possible to decrease the voltage across armature therefore the speed control will be less than the rated value so hence the armature control method is applicable only to control the speed of motor below normal value whereas the flux which is inversely proportional to to the speed therefore if 
we decrease the or increase the current in the field winding. So for the say, for example, uh, DC shunt motor for the rated voltage, it is not possible to increase the field current. Only we are, it is possible to decrease the field current. Therefore, a speed field current method or flux field current method or the flux method is possible for the above normal value. Now, we will consider DC shunt motor and speed control below the normal value. So again, we will write back EMF or speed is directly proportional to or it is equal to some k v minus i a r a divided by flux for dc shunt motor dc shunt motor as long as voltage is constant comma flux will remains constant therefore a speed is directly proportional to V minus I A R A. So it means that if suppose this is the voltage V, it is at the rated value. So hence it is possible to control the voltage across armature. Say the voltage across armature is V A. So speed is directly proportional to V A. Since V minus IARA, the current which is going to flow. So if you apply the KVL, we found that VA is equal to the sum voltage minus this drop. Okay. So this method is applicable only for below normal speed. Now, for this below normal speed, what would be the character? What would be the curve? So this is the, say, speed in RPM or RPS N. And this is the armature voltage. Armature voltage VA means voltage across armature. So higher the voltage higher will be the rated will be the rated speed or speed and if the speed if the voltage decreases the speed also decreases so suppose this is the rated speed at the rated voltage so if you decrease the voltage across armature so speed of the motor also get decreases so this is the speed curve so we can say that this is the normal speed and whereas this is the normal or rated voltage or this is the rated voltage. So this can be obtained this way is can be obtained if you plot say suppose this is the voltage across armature VA and this is the speed at at constant ISH if you keep the field current is constant as you as usual and now if you 
say uh, decrease the voltage say rated voltage is 220 volt then it is a 210 volt 200 and 200 volt 190 volt 180 volt if you are decreasing the speed decreasing the voltage by varying the armature which is inserted in series with the armature we have put the resistance in series with the armature and this indicate that the resistance is a variable one so we can obtain the rated speed is suppose it is 1500 rpm so we will get just i'm writing uh, say it is 1470 it may be a 1420 rpm say and so on okay so on so it means that uh, it is possible to conduct that practical such type of practical and to uh, say verify either the statement is correct or wrong. So we found that if you decrease the voltage across armature, speed decreases. So this is the one method. Now we will apply the same method. Uh, we will apply the other method that is field control method, which is used for the speed control above normal speed. Then we will put the resistance in series with the shunt field winding. So now when we are inserting the resistance in the shunt field winding it is only possible it is possible to redu reduce the current in the shunt field winding so as the current reduces flux also reduces so here now the speed again we can write as k v minus i a r a divided by the flux flux is directly proportional to proportional to field current field current ish the field current can be decreased only by inserting a variable resistance R2 in series with shunt field resistance so now here the armature resistance r1 the external resistance r1 we consider that it is a constant or it is say it is has been removed so under such condition a speed okay we will write one more sentence now voltage across across armature is kept at rated value isn't it so now we are not decreasing the voltage across armature voltage across armature is equal to the supply voltage it means that the total resistance is cut out and there is no external resistance inserted in series with the armature so here that is voltage across armature is equal to the v that is the rated one it is the rated one so now by increasing the resistance the shunt field current decreases and hence speed will going to increase therefore speed is inversely proportional to flux or inversely proportional to ish shunt field current so under such condition
we are keeping the voltage across armature is constant and only we are varying the field flux by varying the field current so under such condition it is possible to draw the graph so let the rated speed is there so it is a speed and here is the armature field resistance or field current field current as it is a dc shunt motor so we will write as a dc shunt motor field current ish so this is the shunt field current so let this is the rated shunt field current isn't it and we are going to decrease so this is the say this point is rated shunt field current I means the current is the rated one shunt field current so when the it is rated one so it is will be the speed it is say normal speed so we can say that this is the normal speed of motor so speed is n is normal speed this value is the normal speed now if you decrease the current say for example it is a point uh, it is a 2 ampere it is 1.8 ampere 1.6 ampere 1.4 ampere so speed is going to increase so here the speed is going to increase with it increase in decrease in so it will be like that so this is the increase in speed so this is the normal speed and this is the more than normal speed so this is a speed curve so by this way it is possible to obtain the speed below normal value and the method is armature control method and whereas the field control method or flux control method and the speed is going to obtain more than the rated value now the same method we will apply for the dc series motor so in case of dc series motor there is a one difficulty that either if you increase uh, if you put the resistance in series with the armature it comes total resistance connected into the motor circuit so again here the speed is the formula will remain same speed is equals to some constant k v minus i a r a divided by flux or it is k v minus i a r a divided by the field current so for the dc series motor field current and armature current is same so we can write as for dc series motor series motor i a is equal to i s e and it is same it is the field current i f so under such condition we will provide some typing over the winding of series field winding and by changing the types it is possible to obtain the speed below normal value so here we can obtain the below normal value speed so it is very simple for the to obtain the speed below normal value now what would be the characteristic it is again similar to the armature control applied for the dc shunt motor so it is similar here is the speed and 
it is found that for the smaller the voltage across motor voltage across motor smaller will be the speed and if you increase the voltage by uh, changing the tap the speed also increases so this is the this is rated up to the rated voltage we can opt obtain so it may be the rated speed and by decreasing the voltage across armature or total voltage across motor and this one now field control field control means see here we want to control the current in the field winding so in this way also the current is going to change in the field winding but we are obtaining the speed below normal value and we want to control the current in the field winding in such a way that the speed of motor mo will be more than the rated value or its normal value so it is possible only by connecting the diverter so a diverter diverter is connected in parallel or in shunt with series field winding definitely the resistance of or the value of series diverter must be equal to or the less than otherwise if the resistance is more most of the current is going to flow from this one so by changing this value of the diverter we can divert some of the current from the diverter and less current is going to flow from the series field winding so there is only one method to reduce the current into the series field winding to obtain the less amount of flux whereas the total flux total current drawn by motor will remain same say the current is i is the load current some uh, of the current is going to flow from the diverter rest of the current is going to flow from the series field winding and the same current as per the kcl we obtain the same current it is going to flow by the uh, it is going to draw by the motor as per the load condition so by connecting the diverter it is possible to obtain the speed below normal value so this is the method two methods are there one is the field control method and second is the armature control method so armature control method is applicable only for below normal speed control either it may be a dc shunt motor either it may be a dc series motor or compound motor now the field control methods or flux control method is used to control the speed of motor above normal value so in case of dc shunt motor resistance is connected in series with the shunt field winding and for the dc series motor uh, a diverter or resistor is connected in parallel with the dc uh, in parallel with the series field winding so this is the some uh, this is the two methods now we consider the example in next time uh, on the speed control of dc motor